Hey, you're watching Feed the Beast Tutorial Ultimate Pack. I'm Solomon, and I'm trying to do tutorials or attempting to do tutorials on energy sources. Uh, the last couple episodes, the last three episodes, went into detail about these generators, the generator geothermal and the thermal. Uh, go ahead, check out those episodes and like. And the this episode's going to be about the solar panels. I'm probably going to just hit all of them very quick and then explain uh, how these things work. We're going to get into some more uh, EU per tick kind of deal. You see like this one is only 8 EU, this one's 32, this one is 128, uh, 512 and I'll explain those when I actually plug in the storage system. Now the last ones, these are bad boxes that are connected to the generators. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to connect a bad box to the solar panel. Solar panel is the same kind of idea as generator, but it's renewable. You don't have to put anything in to produce energy. It actually takes energy from the sun, the beautiful sun, comes through here, and when this thing is lit right here, that means it right now it's ready. To, it's producing EU. Now all you have to do is plug something in for it to take it. Um, I have a copper cable here because remember copper cables transfer uh, energy at 32 uh, tick per second. Well, 30, 32 EU per tick. And the way that works is that I could plug in, I could plug in a, co a copper cable and a bad box, and lo and behold, it is charging. It's charging at a 8 EU per tick. Maybe less. I can't really tell. I think it's 8 EU per tick. Um, but as you can see, it's renewable. You don't have to put anything in. You have to come back to it and figure it out. As long as this thing is running and it's day, this thing will charge. And you, by when you come back from, I don't know, your hunting, adventuring, this will be full. And you could start using this for your um, for your macerating and all that kind of other needs. Um, now, the same thing applies to this, where you could pick this up, take this out, and plug it in directly. And look what happens. It's on. And it's charging. Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Um, I'm gonna move on from the solar panel because solar pa the solar panels are pretty much useless. I think at the beginning they're so expensive and they only produce eight EU per tick. It's not. I I would I would use that same material and I would make like a thermal generator. It uses 24 EU per tick and has an internal storage versus this thing solar panel. But however, if you want to get into the end game generating, like, you know, renewable energy, you need to make solar panels. Like right now, we have 20, 28 made that we're waiting until we have enough, I, you know, enough mats to get advanced and so on and so forth. So let's move on. Let's move on to the advanced solar panel. This one's a little better. I'm just kidding. It says it's a lot better. Um, solar panel is a 32 EU per tick. It's a big jump. This is better than this thing right here. So all you have to do is, it has internal storage, I mean almost a bad box of 32,000. You just plug it in, and look, the internal storage being used, transferring right in. Now, currently as you can see, it's generating one EU per tick. The, the thing about I like about these right here, the GregTech ones, is that actually shows you the internal storage numbers, the max output, the generating, and it has four item slots to you know charge whatever you need. Charge your jetpack or electrical jetpack or whatever. Um, it'll transfer and the advanced solar panel, unlike the solar panel, actually generates one EU at night, which is kind of nice. I'm just going to keep moving on because right now uh, these are pretty simple. Solar panel, advanced solar panel, the, all the solar panels are the same thing, it's just different uh, power and different storage system. Now, I have not talked about this the EU per tick of 128. Um, currently from the first like four episodes, I mean, first three episodes and this, we've, all, we've only gotten up to 32 EU per tick. And now remember, copper cable could only take up to 32 EU per tick. Now look what happens if I try to plug in a copper cable to this. It's going to, it's 128 this thing is only going to transfer 100, I mean, 32 EU. Now I'm going to plug in a bad box to this. Yup, it blew up on me. 
Guess why? It's because this thing is sending out so much power through the cable that the cable blew up and hence the bad box. So you don't want to do that. If you want to plug in a hybrid solar panel that has an output of 128 EU per tick like this, what you want to do is use a 2x gold cable, which are these right here, 2x gold cable. And I'll just plug this in. Um, I don't have I don't have any more bad box because I'm bad, so I'm just going to take this up and I'm gonna plug this in. Look what happened. You can't do it. It's because remember, this bad box is the basic level of storage system. The bad box will blow up. It doesn't matter what kind of thing you plug into it. It because it's outputting 128 EU per tick. So what's next? The next level of storage system is a MFE. Let's see what happens when we plug this in. It didn't blow up. Thank God. Take this out. It's transferring 128 EU from its internal storage system, transferring it to here. And this thing holds 600,000 EU, which is a lot. It's kind of nice. And you can do the same thing as you did with these. Uh, you can pick this up, plug it right next to it. Let's do that. Do I have a wrench with me? Yes, I do. Uh, remember, um, this is an IC2 thing. Uh, bad boxes, you could just, you know, use a pickaxe. But if you use a pickaxe on this, it will actually get destroyed. Let me show you what happens. It gave me a machine block. So you don't want to do that. You want to use a wrench. I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to plug in a MFE directly to the hybrid. And look what happens. It's still using energy, transferring the energy, all is well with the world. Now let's get into the the ultimate, the, the mother of all hybrid panels and all that stuff. This thing is a beast. It takes so much mass to create one of these, but it's worth it because this could power your MFSU easily. 512 EU per tick. Uh, this thing generates 64 EU at night. As you can see, it's night right now and max output. The same idea consists, guys, where if I plug in a bad box, excuse me, or a MFE to this thing, it's gonna blow up. And the same idea, if I, let's say um, I have, what's it called? I use a copper cable or a gold cable. Those will not work. A gold cable, the highest output or highest energy that could carry is 128. The highest a copper cable could carry is 32. Well the solution there's something called glass fiber cable where if I take a glass fiber cable and plug it in this will carry the energy out now what do you use for this because we can't use an MFE or we cannot use a bad box well there's a MFSU that is, this is the high voltage um, I don't know if I use these terms before I use low voltage for bad box medium voltage for MFE and high voltage for MFSU and I'm gonna plug that in and look everything is well with the world this is charging at 512 this is a beast it's gonna take the internal storage in first after that's gonna produce that 64 uh, EU per tick for right now because you know it's night let's let's turn it to day let's see what happens when we turn to day this thing will 512 EU per tick Sun's hitting it it's powering it MFSU, uh, this is the highest voltage. Uh, there's one after this, but I haven't really dove into it yet. Um, I'll probably do a tutorial on it later if I ever get into that. But that's like the biggest uh, storage that Greg Tech or this Ultimate Pack has. But that's it on the generators. This first four episodes we reviewed, you know, uh, manual generators, and these are automatic. You know, where you don't have to do anything. It just you set it up. You let the light, you let the light hit it, and you automatically get power from it. If you have any questions, again, on how these things work, uh, how the medium voltage and MFSU work, please leave a comment, and uh, I will try to answer it as best as I can. You guys have a nice day. Bye.